All right, welcome. This short video is going to go over the difference between micro and macro economics. So not like economics wasn't hard enough to begin with, but you got to understand the difference between micro and macro, probably. Um, so first, when we're looking at micro, the trick I like to use is to think of a microscope. So what do you use a microscope for? You use a microscope to look at very fine, small, individual bits of information. So that's what you're doing in microeconomics is you're analyzing a little bit of information at a time. What are we doing? We're focusing on individuals. We're focusing on the firm. We're focusing on whether somebody wants to buy an apple or an orange and how much that apple or orange costs. We're going to be learning things like utility and budgets and individual markets and prices. We also tend to study the types of goods, whether they're public or private, uh, externalities, those sorts of things. Now, for the micro view, what I would like you to imagine is that you're standing on the moon looking at Earth. Well, there's no way you're going to be able to see individuals or firms when you're that far away. So when you take that big picture point of view, what you're doing is you're aggregating all of the little decisions to focus on the national or the government level. So now, from a macro point of view, we're interested in things like uh, trade between countries, inflation or aggregate price levels, GDP or what the dollar value is of everything that's being produced, that sort of thing. So remember, when you're asked or you're thinking about the difference between micro and macroeconomics, micro is microscope. Macro is aggregating everything. Micro is things like individual salaries or decisions, the things that me and you do every day. That's microeconomics. Whereas macroeconomics is what gets reported in the news generally. Things like unemployment, uh, GDP, the dollar value of everything that's being produced, inflation, all of those government or national level statistics and ideas. So I hope that helps.